My dear students, welcome to Unit 4, Week 8 in your INS course that extends from April 21st to April 25th. We're going to start this week with your formative presentation. At the end of this lesson, you're going to be able uh, you're going to be able to deliver engaging and impactful presentation across various settings and audiences. Our word wall is going to include deliver, engaging, impactful presentation, and criteria. Of course, you're going to have a clear criteria in which you're going to be assessed upon. You need to hold attention of the entire audience with the use of direct eye contact, seldom looking at notes. Um, you need to speak with fluency and um, with your voice clear and to maintain your audience interest and emphasize key points. You're going to demonstrate full knowledge when answering all your class questions with explanation and elaboration, provide clear purpose and subject, uh, examples, facts, statistics to support your ideas and, uh, and have evidence. You need to demonstrate strong enthusiasm about the topic during your entire presentation, significantly increase audience understanding and knowledge about the topic, and convince your audience if you have uh, something to convince your audience of. You're going to watch a video about how to deliver an engaging and impactful presentation. You will have a, um, an interactive activity, which is going to be Prizzy, if you want to use Prizzy to craft your presentation this time. You're going to watch a video about how to master your presentation, an interactive activity related to that, further practice, challenging questions is going to be a link in which you're going to follow to answer challenging questions, a self-assessment, and I would like you to revise everything you took by clicking on what's next to do an interactive activity related to everything you took before. The lesson two is going to be about Day of the Dead. You're going to recognize different cultural contexts. Um, our word wall is going to include candles, skeleton, family, remembrance, celebration, memory, tradition, symmetry, spirits, offering, skull. You're going to watch a video about the Day of the Dead and you're going to do an activity in groups, which you are going to uh, choose an example of intangible cultural heritage from a UNESCO uh, site or from the list that I'm going to provide you. Uh, you're going to create a short three to five minutes presentation that provides an overview of your chosen example. You need to explain the practices involved in this tradition and some of the history behind it. Reflect on its cultural significance to the society that it is from. We're going to watch another video about the Mexican Day of the Dead, and you'll have an interactive activity related to that. Further practice, of course, a challenging question, a self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to search about grunge music in the 1990s. Lesson three is going to be very interesting. You're going to recognize different cultural contexts. This time is going to be grunge music in the 1990s. Our word wall is going to include grunge for Generation X, grunge fashion, slacker culture, grunge uh, aesthetic, underground music scene, grunge bands. You're going to watch a video about grunge music in the 1990s. And you will have an interactive activity related to that. Uh, you're going to watch a video about uh, grunge music uh, emergence. And after that, you're going to have think, pair, share uh, activity. You're going to look at three pictures. They're all from hit uh, TV shows of the 1980s and the early 90s, Family Ties, Growing Pains, and Family Matters. You're going to discuss the questions that I have prepared for you about these three TV shows. Put yourself in the shoes of uh, teens in the 1980s and the 1990s and try to tell me how do you feel? Uh, there wasn't mass media. Um, it was only the TV and the radio. Um, how might you find art or culture or culture that you felt represented your world and your outlook? Remember, there wasn't any cell phones. Further practice, 
for what to do tomorrow. How did the environment and culture of the Pacific Northwest influence the sound and themes of grunge music in the 1990s? A self-assessment for what to do tomorrow. I would like you to revise everything you took through an activity on what's next. I can't wait to start this uh, cool week with you guys. All the love and respect. Peace out.